Workers in Plateau State have rejected the increment of between 25% and 35% across various consolidated salary structures for civil servants by the federal government. The announcement of the increment was made on the eve of May Day, which is celebrated worldwide to recognize and honor the achievements and contributions of workers. Adu Musa has the story. Workers in the state troop out in their numbers to Rampan Stadium to join their counterparts across the world to celebrate the day. On the other hand, the workers are happy to witness the day hell and hearty. But on the other hand, they said life has been very miserable for them due to the government's unpleasant attitude towards payment and salary increment in the country. Some stakeholders at the event spoke on their predicament. We have our position in the era of Kobo. In relation to the international technique, ability to have it in Burma. Since the world is a right era, we want to have our salary improved in that order. To be able to have property in living wage. So what you say here is that the level of us today, and even as of yesterday, have totally rejected the offer being given. The order is not general. We have to work on the committee that has been set up to look into the way to be complete and submit their course. To be initiated by administration, to become a reality, to benefit workers and citizens of the country, to the citizens of the state. It should be noted that with mass retirement, Local government, local government council. There's been need to open windows of for more. Governor Kelev Mutfuan, represented by the head of service, Rauta Dakok, said his administration will do everything possible to improve the welfare of workers in the state. Many face substantial challenges in their workplace. Issues such as exploitation, unsafe working conditions and lack of access to essential benefits are prevailing. In view of the economic turbulence, following the removal of the petroleum subsidy, my administration has taken decisive steps to alleviate the impact and ensure that the welfare of our citizens is a top priority. We are steadfast in our mission to revitalize the civil service to achieve exemplary service delivery. We recall our pledge to bolster the capabilities of our civil servants by providing them with the necessary tools to execute government policies effectively. Other workers who spoke at the event lamented the poor working conditions in the country calling on government at all levels to alleviate the suffering of workers in the country. Adomusa, Trust TV News, Joss.